Okay, so until the next, until the next, until the nurse. Yes, so we're going to the next word on the list. Remember, we started with line tie twos, and he has explained. Um, our lawyer here has explained line type the types of line tie two that is available. That is, is it available or obtainable in Nigeria? Uh, whichever it is, you guys know now. All right, so now we're going to talk about excision. So I'll uh, leave it to him to explain what excision means in a layman term. Please don't use. Uh, what was that thing he said? <laughs> <laughs> Don't use those big, big drama, please. Yeah, yeah. Come to our level, our level, you know. Uh, no, level. And even if I use anything big, I will always explain. Yeah, okay. because that, that's the essence of this. <laughs> you know, these lawyers are doctors, yeah. Mm -hmm. They will confuse your life with grammar. You know, when a doctor wants to confuse your life, when he wants to tell you have a big and you speak the body, you know, that kind of thing. They will be like, ah, you know, that kind of a thing. Anyway, so yes, we're going to talk about excision. So please tell us, what is excision? Yes, so basically, um, excision is one topic or one title to learn that many people have, have, have given different types. Um, like in recent time, we've seen excision in process, we've seen excision block, we've seen government excision, village excision, ah, family excision, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then different names and nomenclatures under excision. Yeah, yeah, but basically what that always simply means is, so the, the, the background to excision is that, so most times when the, when the government wants to bring a project to an area, mm -hmm. one of the things they do is to acquire properties in that area. And then when they acquire, they do two things. Is either they compensate people whose land they've acquired or they relocate those people to another place. Mm -hmm. So one of the things they do. But after they have done the project, if there is not a need for them to so they do to, to give some lands back to land any families, that's when they do an execution that okay, yes, we are done with the project. There are some extra lands that we have, we can give them back. That's one. Then two, where execution comes in. Is when they see that okay, this particular um, people, even though this, this area we are acquiring land, this area, some part of this area are known as the settlement of these people. We don't let us touch it. So, even if there's a global acquisition in this area, let's excite this portion back to so that this is their main, this is their father land, or this is where they have been for time memorial. Let's retain this place for them. So, they excise that portion back and give it to them. Mm. Obedient as it may. So, a question like we always say is given to a family or a community. So okay. they can't give an individual, they can't give a company, sure. execution is given to a family, it's oh, given to a community. And so what happens is the family or the community leaders, um, the right, the right to the land use allocation committee, if it's for Lagos, for example, um, the right to the allocation committee stating that they are the original land of this, of this land mm -hmm. and that they, they, they wanted um, the government to release this land back to them. Mm -hmm. And there's a process that goes through at, at Alausa and then it comes out in a gazette yeah mm -hmm. so like always so once from the beginning of form and the first stage is after you write the letter mm -hmm. and after the survey plan and all the documents and Again, you survey plan and you submit it what you get you get at the beginning is your extension file number okay and then so is the file number you should trace the file to know what level, level. it has gotten to um, hmm. in the process. So hmm. that, and, and so it will, from that is when you now so it goes from table to table in the ministry till it gets to the to it's trying where it is signed by the governor. And then once it is signed, then it becomes a gazette. One of that major or landmark said it gets to is when it's a general has approved that extension to come out. Mm -hmm. that, that is when people now have that's called approved extension. And then it's when it now gets to the um to the government of when government signs it, then it now becomes a gazette that it comes out. So that's hmm. pretty much what the process is. But be that as well, like I always say, is that until the action is gazetted, it is still not it's still in process. And so that like, people give a different name or oh, approve the approval, the block has been capped that already and this and that, but until it is that until it is signed by the governor, it's still in process. Okay, so let, let, let me ask this question because like you rightly mentioned, there seems to be a lot of drama around excision. In mm. fact, leave other titles. You see this excision, there's a, a lot of drama as we know yeah. uh, around it. So now, when people now say, uh, so obviously, of course, we all know that it's not safe to buy any land that is excision in process, or is it that it is safe in some places, it's not safe in some places? Or what is this? Okay, so the one I personally don't know about, I don't understand, is the decision block. What is the decision block? What does it mean? Because it seems to be going around now recently in the like Like you see a decision block. What does all what does decision block mean? All that is it that it is also safe to buy a decision process somewhere else, or in a particular place it is not safe? Because like I said recently, um, I came. I was one of those that came out and announced that because they said nobody should buy 
any untitled land in Ibadan, like you know, mm. but you see some companies selling. So is that is illegal and good to some of these things? Can you please enlighten my people? Yeah, you know, so um, so Ibadan is a very is a very boring area. And and that's why a lot like of <laughs> a lot of developments are coming there. Um, the Dango refinery is there, the fruit trade zone is there. Um, so many things are there, and so a lot of people are going there to cushion themselves and to pick investments there. And and, and demand and supply works in there. There's a lot of demand for it, Bam. and so that's why people are just giving this what what they, what they can there. And so but so that that, that, that that's why it like is peculiar. Mm -hmm. And so one of the rationale behind the government coming out to say it is because. One, there's been a lot of outcry. Uh, people who have bought in, who, are, who have investments there, mm -hmm. and they're not able to assess that investment because mm -hmm. of a number of issues there. Mm -hmm. Um, there's so many. Um, it, 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 it's one place that before you commit your money, I always advise do your proper comprehensive search. Because one is that so there are some parts of Ibeju that have been allocated for a number of things. There's a smart city there, mm -hmm. um, there are communities there, mm -hmm. uh, um, there are so many projects. So many. I haven't heard about the golf, a golf, can you call There's a golf course, course there. There, there, are, <clears throat> there are so many things there that some people have, in, some families have encroached those government, um, um, yeah. those, those government committed, um, those land for committed for government projects, and they are selling. To people unsuspecting buyers, and because of the real estate industry, the way it is, um, is such that normally it should be professional estate surveyors only that should be in the industry. But now, almost anybody with capital is in the, in the industry, and so most of, most of them do not um know so much in the industry, and they just go there, okay, see a freelance somewhere, and just pay for it, acquire <laughs> it, and they will sell it to people as well. So, so that pretty much is causing the So that's why if you must invest in the bedroom. Do your proper search to be sure that the land, particular land you are buying, does not have any issues. Yeah, because even in the times when some people, for example, they start with the neighborhood where the land had a gazette, but the gazette had been revoked. And and so if you just say, okay, yes, this gazette there, and you didn't further search to see whether or not it is still existing, then wow. there's an issue. Yeah. There are places even in Beju that even as, as there was a part, not in Beju, but close to Beju, they had a COO. But they right, but, but they've revoked the sale because they've going to come into that axis. And so that's why it's because of the peculiar nature of Ibeju. If you must buy there, do your comprehensive search before you make your payment. So that's why. So that, that is a very peculiar case. That. So no matter the title you see there, I've seen gazettes that had issues in Ibeju. I've seen places where the area has a gazette, but the portion they have to sell is outside the gazette. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so there are so many so that, that's why even if they tell you oh is that this is even a CEO for make sure you do your comprehensive search before you make payment for eBay okay. in particular. Okay, so um I obviously don't have anything to add to that. Mm -hmm. He has covered a lot of things. But I have a question. It, it seems to be like oh, I don't know if I'm wrong. It looks like it's only in legal states when it comes to land that you find the title extension. I really don't in all your state. In Kogisa, where I'm from, even in, especially even in Abuja, you hardly find anything called excision. Is there a reason why it seems to be in Lagos that it's common or I'm the one that is wrong? No, so excision is in every state. The first time I had excision was in Ogun State. The okay. first time I had of excision. And that was okay. like some years back. So excision is in every state. But it is Ibeju that makes excision popular in Lagos. <laughs> so, so that version is popular in Lagos. Like I've shown even in many other places in, in, in Lagos where the accessions that have been filed, I mean, places where gazettes mm -hmm. are been so there are many places where those things are. But because of the way Ibeju is, the demand is high. That, that is popular. why every title that is that that is attached to any land in Ibeju is popular. <laughs> like gazettes, it exists everywhere. Mm -hmm. But gazettes in Ibeju is popular because mm -hmm. of the it's demand your there. Is I so C of O two that's where you add the word global C of O became popular because of Ibeju. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. But I heard that there's no word like that. <laughs> you get the point. So, so those words that so whenever any estate any land in Ibeju has a title that title becomes popular it because of its Ibeju. No, so those titles are everywhere mm -hmm. because Ibeju means just means like to have some special status. Okay, so thank you for clearing that out. Now, yeah. um, you you mentioned that there's a. I know that there's village accession. I know that um, nobody accession is not granted to one individual, unlike C O O that can be granted to individual. Yeah. So now um, there's a village accession and there's a community accession, right? Yeah. Okay. So what I was trying to so say, say is, is that, is that no matter the name they give it, 
excision is excision. Okay. <laughs> so from excision file number to uh, <laughs> village excision, family excision, government excision, mm -hmm. excision is excision. Okay, so <laughs> my, my takeaway from this is that um, firstly, I, I, I normally say a minister um, advocates, um, <laughs> senior advocate for no buying of untitled land, mm. except maybe maybe in my village, there's no problem in my village. <laughs> maybe some part of a good state, maybe you know, even if it's becoming you know some place that you still yeah. also have to be very very careful because what is happening in the Jilaki is being taken to a place as we speak. So yeah, I don't advise anybody to buy any untitled land if you're not working with a refined, you know, a vast lawyer like my friend here. Okay, because if you're if you're dealing with a lawyer directly. He can tell you what he's going to do. And it's not just a lawyer, he's a real estate lawyer. So he will stand by you, take your hand and work the work. Because he understands the integrity, right? He mm -hmm. knows what is happening. He knows how to go about some of this. So except if you're doing that, I don't advise you don't buy any land on title. Advice, especially in the like advice that you buy a title, verified. He has said it. Verified titled uh, land is what I advocate that any investor coming into the real estate market or your existing in, uh, as an investor, you need to buy more of titled land. Almost it seems to be easier. I know somebody yeah. who bought a, 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 a sea of wood land in January, a land without sea of wood, and he already got the sea of wood out. As we speak, he has a copy. So, you know, you can try that in Lagos State. It's always, always challenging. You know, everything uh, in Lagos. You know, like, the, the, the issue with Lagos is because of volume. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what, as a, so, for example, in Lagos, every day, the Ministry of Land is always full. People are coming to do something, Bam. either to do a search or to do or perfect the document. So, mm -hmm. because of the volume of work there is much, mm -hmm. and uh, and they're really trying. There are many times that uh, up to five p.m., six p.m. The officials, they, you know, okay, so so that, that's out. So, so there's a lot um of work because of the volume in Lagos than other states where it's quite easier. One, then two, also is. The, the commitment of the person filing so how committed is it to, to follow up to ensure that the mm, file moves as it should so many benefits that many abandoned files because people just start after a few issues because they, 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 they after a few queries and issues they get an abandoned their file so, <laughs> so, so so that's why one has to do some that's why one if 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 you contact somebody who will make you to do so there's some things that could make your file to be delayed there so one of those things are cleared off yeah, able to know like one probably we'll get to that later so i won't just but so do you guys tell me the things that affect um, um, um those things okay all right so that's it on excision guys um we've talked about almost everything about about excision but you know you can't really talk about things from people's perspective uh, yeah. perspective a lot of times so you, somebody listening to us might feel like okay i ha still have a question around this subject matter like i said talking about land titles is something we can talk about almost all the time. In fact, I think we keep, we have to keep sanitizing um, investors, even our, my fellow colleagues, you know, because a lot of people don't even know. More and more people are coming into the industry, more investors are coming in, and they need to keep talking about these things over and over the, uh, is, is there. So yeah, if you have a question uh, bothering you on this, maybe what he has explained, you're still not clear. You still need to be broken down. Of course, you can put it in the comment section, put out a question, or reach out to me on WhatsApp, then um, we could treat it or have a one-on-one -on -one with you, whichever way that works for you. But um, like I said, we would appreciate your questions on this subject matter or any other um, subject matter. So now um, we're still here. We're not going anywhere. Remember, we're talking about land titles. So we've talked about survey. Now we've talked about excision. The next one is Gazette. All right. So we're going to be talking about Gazette. I know that Gazette, this, it should be not so much talk about Gazette. It's just what it is. Yeah. But hey, we still have to talk about it because I know that I've also had an experience where I spoke to someone and said he doesn't even know what the Gazette He has never heard about the business. I'm like, oh, really? Well, of course it's possible. So yeah, we're going to talk about this at next.